Okay, we're out here today shooting for our 2008 catalogue. The last ARB catalogue we released was very successful. It actually won the best automotive accessory catalogue in Australia in 2006, so it's going to be a hard act to follow. I'm Michael Long from off -road Images. We're out here with ARB today. We're shooting a 76 series, a 79 series, and the new Jeep Wrangler, and just having a bit of fun. We've got Jonathan Oliver. Jonathan works at Silver City Four Wheel Drive, which is a local four wheel drive shop in Broken Hill. He's lined up several properties for us in this area, and in fact, right up to Tipperborough that we can go onto, so we can get a variety of terrain, rocks, sand, hill climbs, all sorts of stuff. I'm Mark Lowry from ARB. My role out here today is to drive one of the vehicles, get them in position, and once all that's done, get out the sponge and the chamois and the buckets of water and start cleaning. Lomount's been on a lot of these photo shoots. He knows the area pretty well. He's a great driver. He used to compete in a lot of off-road events like the Extreme Winx Challenge Series, Pajero Challenge, Rhino Trophy. So he's pretty confident behind the wheel. He's also a fully trained mechanic. So if we do have any issues with the vehicles in remote areas, Mark's got tools, spares and so forth. And that can happen. I mean, with new vehicles, you generally wouldn't expect anything to go wrong, but it has been known to happen. Michael Ellum from Off-Road Images. Now he's been doing all our photography now for about four or five years. Mike loves working with us. We're very particular on results. We like the cars to look clean. Very fussy on locations we go to. Uh, the sand was good. There was a little bit of moisture in it, so it gave it a little bit of a different contrast of colour to the, the surface. The surface was all dried, so it was a, a lighter colour. Therefore, when the, the cars tore up the sand and flicked the sand up, the sand was a lot darker, uh, more of a darker orange, so quite like that. The fact that there was some nice white river gums in the background, just to give it a bit of contrast, yeah, that was pretty sensational as well. Michael's photography expertise is absolutely critical to this whole exercise. We might set a car up where we think it looks good, but the light might be wrong. The colours of the background might contrast with the vehicle. So his talent in making a car look right in a particular scenario is, as far as I'm concerned, unmatched. I mean, it's interesting. We had the ARB Outback experience back in May this year where we had a dozen journalists from all over the world and we took them on a two-week outback trip to let them experience, you know, the sort of conditions we have over here and that those conditions that our accessories are designed to work in. And the amount of those guys that came up to me and said they'd never seen a photographer produce work like Michael. So, look, we're very lucky to have him. He does like working with us and when we go on these trips, we certainly have a great time. Normally what I'd like to do is get nice soft sand, when I say soft sand, fine sand, when it's really heated up by the sun, it creates a nice soft surface so when the cars drive through it, they tend to flick the sand out and what I really like is when you get the tyre tread creating a pattern. The tyre tread and also the rims, if you've got some nice alloy wheels with spokes in them, you find that the sand actually flicks out from those spokes and it actually fans out a whole lot of streams of sand, but the tyre tread does the same sort of thing as well, it, it fans out streams of sand and gives you a lot of character in the shot. The Australian Outback would have to be the best vehicle and accessory testing ground you could possibly wish for. It's got so much of a variety of landform, from rock to sand to mud, the beauty of the dead trees and the new growth and so forth. It really gives us the opportunity to know 100% that this gear is working in these harsh conditions. I mean, the fact that, you know, you've got five, six, seven, eight hundred kilometres between towns, between fuel stops, you know, with long corrugated roads, you know, really harsh environments, unpredictable weather, it really is a great place to bring vehicles and, and, and just see what they can handle. Because every time you go there, there's something different. There's new regrowth of vegetation. The land just changes in colour all the time. When the sun's out, when it's cloudy, uh, when it's raining, uh, big sunsets, good sunrises. The thing I probably like the most is being out there at about four in the morning when it's dark and you start seeing these colours change. That's an awesome experience. It doesn't matter where you are out in the outback because those colours just, everything just starts to come alive. All the ground's just dark and pitch black. You can't see a thing but the colours of the sky are just building and building and all of a sudden you start seeing all the colours and you start seeing all the ground. And, and yeah, it's just awesome. It's a bit of a hard one to answer, I suppose. It's just the you know, it's, it's peaceful out here. You, know, you can be out here and you can be working all day. The weather can be shocking or it can be beautiful and it, it doesn't really matter. You know, everyone's having fun. I guess it is, in a way, just a matter of pressing a button that you, anyone can take a photo. And I certainly encourage anyone to get out there or everyone to get out there and take a photo. 
whether it's a four-year-old child that's got a real basic camera, get them a digital because the film costs too much nowadays. They run around, they can take photos and it'll be surprising, they'll take a photo of the tree, they'll take a photo of a, you know, a rock or a wombat poo sitting on a rock or anything, but they, they get really creative and it is just a matter of pressing a button to take a photo. If you want to get really creative, it's just all in the mind, I guess, trying to come up with something really interesting and utilising the equipment to get the result. But start by pressing the button and then work your way from there and yeah, you get some fantastic results. But yeah, get out there and do it. Take some photos. I mean, I've been coming out here now every year for about 13 years and I just love it. I mean, the more I can get out here, the better as far as I'm concerned. It really is a unique environment and, you know, I just encourage all the people that watch four-wheel drive TV, get your vehicle set up properly, travel with a few of you for safety and, and just get out here and enjoy yourselves. It really is a unique part of the world and I can't recommend it highly enough.